Hello, the practitioner here. Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, math minor, magician, parapsych researcher, technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. Um, I, like you, don't believe in mediums. Um, I also am highly skeptical of psychic phenomena. However, I don't consider um, the type of test that you did uh, to be appropriate, um, considering the fact that James Randi um, generally does a considerably better test than this. Um, you know, um, it, uh, to do what you suggested, uh, which is to get uh, this guy to guess 10 playing cards when in fact there are no playing cards, and therefore say, like, oh, if he's psychic, he should have got it right. Well, to do that would be like James Randi saying, like, here, I want you to douse which one of these boxes has the, um, has the, uh, the target in it, um, you know, the target that you're claiming. And there, uh, and then, of course, uh, not really. They're not really being a target. Um, then James saying, "Oh, you never passed it because you should have guessed that there was no target if you were psychic." James Randi has been under scientific conditions. You don't do that. Um, James Randi quite clearly has stated this. Why do you think that there was agreed test upon protocols and um, you know and like like say guessing ESP cards or what have you, and then um, the person expecting to perform better than chance, but there actually is a target. To, to, suggest, to do this in such a way that there is no target is, again, it's inappropriate. Um, it's not a true scientific test, and, um, you know, it's, uh, it's basically uh, trying to suggest, it's basically a call for perfection fallacy. It's sort of like, oh, if the person's psychic, they should be able to get it 100% of the time, or get, like, the fact that we're duping them. Again, it's a, it's a, it's a indirectly, it's a call for perfection fallacy, and, um, you know, considering that the, uh, the chief of skeptics, uh, Randy, is, you know, has been, demonstrating for years with better protocols than that, uh, you know, with better protocols than this, that, uh, that psychics are bunk and the like. Um, you know, I would consider, um, you know, again, like I said, I agree with you guys in debunking the medium, but um, if you were going to do it, do it with honest playing cards Get and, you know, avoid cues of possibility. Do a random shuffle, take out 10 random playing cards after a random shuffle, and if you had agreed with him that it would be statistically significant to guess 10 playing cards, have him actually attempt to guess 10 play cards under proper, you know, with the exact name and the exact, you know, with the exact number and the exact suit, you know, in perfect order in every one of those cards for statistical significance. Set it up a la a JREF test and conduct it that way. Don't do something where, like, there's no playing cards. It's, uh, you know, again, it's an inappropriate testing protocol. Um, anyway, that's just my point. Um, you know, I think that the precedent in terms of proper ways of, uh, of testing skeptically under scientific conditions has already been set by Randy, um, although the issues with experimenter bias have yet to be dealt with, but that's another issue. Um, again, you know, my point being is that in this case, I don't think it was appropriate for you to have done what you did in having debunked this medium. Next time, uh, again, no doubt he's probably a fraud, but if you're going to debunk him, do it properly under proper controlled scientific conditions. Don't do it under uh, some sort of trick conditions, okay? Um, it makes you know better than the enemy. You know, it, um, or more specifically, it sends out a contradictory message. Anyway, that's just um, my thought on this one. And I hope, uh, I hope that this time, the next time that you guys do the debunk um, of a fellow of another medium, um, you know, another fellow to one of the, to this guy chance or what have you that you'll do it in such a way that there actually is um, you know that it's set under scientific conditions that everything is agreed upon in advance you know run it like an actual uh, one million dollar challenge test please you know let's let's at least since the standard has already been set uh, you know since the bar has already been set by Randy and the like let's actually try to follow that standard thank you toodles